Another notable altcoin that I always uh, see running after XRP is XLM. So Stellar Lumens, we're going to talk about that in this video. Make sure you guys hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And uh, let's get into it here. You can also follow me on X if you are uh, watching on there as well. I, I tend to cross post my videos. So, But Stellar XLM uh, gains 150% in a huge rally with a growing market interest. We saw it jump 150% actually, like just crushing it over the last 30 days. It broke out of a permanent wedge pattern and has been a sign of bullish momentum. A substantial rise in trading volume has come in as well, and Stellar's role as a fast and low-cost international payment solution has been cited as you know one of the top contenders in that sector. Uh, price surge was driven by its recovery from a multi-year descending wedge, which marked a clear reversal. And analysts often consider this pattern a pretty reliable indicator of possible future growth. So there was a circulated post from World of Charts um, pointing out the 150% surge, and it also drew comparisons with previous rallies in XRP and Dogecoin. So let's jump over. We're going to take a look at this price prediction as well. So we have analysts coming in with a you know potential 31 to 34 uh, cent price range for this rally. Um, so it could continue to go from here. Um, they cited some factors for this bullish momentum, um, basically in some of the partnerships that they have established here with MoneyGram. They're into uh, real world asset tokenization. We also saw a partnership with MasterCard and Stripe, and uh, many analysts cite its similarity with Ripple. Let's jump over and take a look at the chart here on CoinMarketCap. As we can see, this is the one month chart uh, sitting at 24 and a half cents. And, uh, you know, we see this thing has, is only is still 73% away from all time high. All time high is sitting at 93 cents. So we still have a way to go uh, to that all time high. And that was seven years ago we printed that. So, um, you know, the, people draw similarities with XLM to XRP, a notable, you know, increase in uh, in price movement after XRP runs. They're in, they're in the same kind of sector, right? So it, it does make sense to, uh, to kind of, you know, compare the two of them together. It's not like they're apples and oranges or anything like that. So sitting at number 20 on CoinMarketCap in the overall crypto space, um, you know, this thing could still uh, see some definite uh, upside potential here we could see you know another you know you know ten, like six seven cents coming out of this thing so i'm going to keep the keep an eye on this i did hold some xlm back in the last bull which i did sell and uh you know i made a little bit of profit off it it wasn't a whole heck of a lot though because i was just kind of getting into crypto didn't exactly know um you know how things really worked i was just kind of getting my feet wet so to speak paying my tuition that i like to say right um because sometimes in crypto you lose before you win and uh you know your losses are kind of almost like uh, your learning period right so um you know, i just broke even basically maybe made a little tiny bit of money after paying fees and such on xlm but it's definitely one that i uh, am still keeping on my radar i could potentially pick some up if we do see a broader market pullback here um but i'm not anticipating that to happen until you know maybe after bitcoin smashes 100k we see some kind of profit taking there maybe a pullback and we might see some old coins run there though kind of hoping that that's what's going to happen um but if i miss my xlm entry that's okay i'm uh you know i'll keep it on my radar that's for sure so thanks so much for tuning in and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace